Let us implement and simulate half adder circuit using PSPI software. We know that in case of half adder circuit, we require to have two input lines and two output lines. Let, let us suppose that two input lines are x and y and two output lines will be carry and sum. So, here is the respective truth table for us. x and y we are having, we are having four input combinations. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and this is my carry and this is my sum. So, this is the very common truth table for half adder circuit. So, here to get the Boolean functions for this carry and sum, so they are nothing but carry will be x and y and sum will be x, z, y. So, to implement this circuit, we require gets like this one. So, 7408 that is 2 input quadruple and get IC and 7486 that is 2 input quadruple or in short we can call it as quad 2 input quad ZOR get IC. So, these ICs will be required and respective IC numbers we have mentioned here. So, let us go for the implementation. So, this is a respective piecewise uh, implementation of this half adder circuit. So, this is my ZOR get IC. So, that is 7486 and this is my AND gate IC that is 7408. So, within one ZOR gate IC or AND gate IC we are having four gates. So, that is why we use the term quadruple or quad. So, we are using one of those gates here. So, this is the digital inputs and these are the digital outputs are there. So, let us go for the parts list for the construction of the circuit. So, this is my 7408, 7486 if out for the outputs and ditch steam for the inputs accordingly. So, this is the respective simulation output whatever we are having and this is my x input and this is my y input. So, y here we have considered as MSB and x here we have considered it as LSB. So, least significant bit and the most significant bit. So, we have kept this x low for 0.5 nanosecond and high for 0.5 nanosecond in this way. And here we have made this one as 1 nanosecond, that is a 1 nanosecond it is having, that is 1 nanosecond low and 1 nanosecond high in this way. So, so that we are going to get all combinations of 0, 0, of 0, 0, that is 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and it is for 2 times because we have mapped this one for 4 nanosecond accordingly. Okay. So, this is my respective simulation output for carry and sum and which is very much in accordance with the truth table whatever we, we have shown you earlier. So, let us go for one practical implementation and demonstration uh, on, the, on the respective simulation and the circuit designing on the piece by software. So, here is the practical demonstration for you. We are going to implement half added circuit which requires one ZOR gate with the IC number 7486. So, we are taking one ZOR gate IC here, one ZOR gate here and then I shall go for one AND gate and that will be the IC number 7408. So, this is one AND gate, I require two digital outputs. So, this first two output is the second one and I require two disk streams. So, disk stream is this one, so control R for rotate. So, giving the levels accordingly. So, this is the respective circuit we have drawn. Let us put the voltage levels. So, that is my carry, this is my sum, this is my y and this is my x. I am just drawing one rectangle.
making this one 2 millisecond and 1 millisecond this is the MSB and for this one I'm making this one as saving this for this one I'm making this one as 1 millisecond and 0.5 millisecond which you did earlier also in the previous circuits so now you can feel that in this way the circuit will be operating so for two inputs I can have four combinations so this is my setup analysis transient so print step is 0 0.5 millisecond so I require only two millisecond to have my all four combinations because two inputs can have maximum four input combinations so in this way I have designed my circuit now it is the high time to test my circuit accordingly okay now let me go for the simulation so these are respective outputs are there we are having this carry and sum okay now now let me go for the simulation so I am clicking on this but having this x and y so 0 0 means carry 0 sum 0 and 0 1 means sum 1 carry 0 1 0 means sum 1 carry 0 and 1 1 means sum 0 carry 1 so in this way I can easily test my circuit in the simulation mode so I can go for this delete all traces I can go for I'm just going for this so this is my x i require this x i require this y then i require this carry to come and then sum to come so they are supposed to come in this order so it will be easier for us for the better understanding so zero zero so they are zero zero so zero one they are zero one one zero that is zero one 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 that is one zero so in this way my hapeta circuit has got tested and if you are having any kind of issues please leave your comments in the comment block and do the practice at your home also and thanks for watching this video